I tried the new Azure Bastion Developer SKU and it is amazing. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up, how it's different than the other Bastion SKUs, and why you should start using it today. Now you commented and we listened. You told us how expensive Bastion is and how long it takes to deploy and how much it costs and how other services are better or cheaper, or how expensive it is, and you want more features, and you complained how expensive it is, and you see where this is going. And the product team has taken all of your feedback and invented the new developer SKU for Bastion. So keep your comments coming. Now deploying Bastion can be done in a lot of ways. And I think the easiest way is to go to your virtual network, click on Bastion on the left, and then click the deploy button. And that'll deploy the Bastion basic SKU, which isn't what we want today. But before we deploy anything, you should know some differences between developer and the other guys. Basic and standard both require you to set up a dedicated subnet called the Azure Bastion subnet. And behind the Bastion resource that you build, there'll be a virtual machine scale set that could allow up to 50 simultaneous instances to connect to your VMs securely. And that'll work in the VNet where Bastion's deployed and any other VNets you're peered with. Now, developer is different. And here's a list of all of the Bastion features for all of the different SKUs. And notice developer is kind of light. You just get secure connectivity for a single virtual network to all of your Linux and Windows VMs. And you also get audio. And that's basically it. So developer is a very minimal service and the cost is a whole lot lower because of it. And unlike basic and standard, developer doesn't even need the Azure Bastion subnet. That's because the Bastion resources that are getting deployed aren't really in your virtual network. The developer SKU is actually kind of like a shared cloud service, but don't worry, each connection is secure and isolated to just you. So back here in our VNet, let's click to deploy things manually so you can see all of the options. The subscription and resource group should already be selected for you, so just give your Bastion instance a name and pick your region. Oh, and during this public preview phase of the Bastion developer instance, these are the only regions that are supported, but don't worry, this is going to be rolling out everywhere. Now before you select the tier dropdown, we're currently here on standard, and under there we've got an instance count that can go all the way up to 50 instances. And if you change the tier to basic, then you can only go up to two instances. And notice at the bottom, you also have to select your virtual network and public IP addresses. But when you change to developer, all that goes away, which just makes developer easier to manage. Now click next, and then you want to add your tags, which is all the additional metadata for your resources, like your cost center, the owner, the support contact, and the environment. Oh, and uh, speaking of environment, the target audience for Bastion Developer is really dev test environments. Now you can of course use this wherever you want to, but that's what the PG had in mind when they developed it. And that's because your feedback has really been kind of two basic categories. One, it's too expensive, and two, there aren't enough features. Well, these are actually complete opposites. It's like saying I want to pay $4,000 for my brand new car, but I want it to be a McLaren. So developer was created to keep the cost down and there are some very cool things coming soon to Bastion. So be sure that you're subscribed and you've clicked the bell so you don't miss out. And I'm sure one of the big questions you must be thinking is, can I downgrade my existing standard or basic Bastions to developer? And at this point, no, sorry, you can't. Now upgrades can be done whenever you want to, but there's no downgrades right now. However, you can simply delete your other Bastion instance along with its public IP address and then build the new Bastion tier the way you want it. And don't worry, there's not really any downtime here because this will be done in about five minutes. Now using Bastion Developer is just like any of the other tiers. You can go to Bastion directly or to your virtual machine and click the connect button, put in your credentials, hit connect, and in two seconds, you get a new browser window signing you in to your virtual machine. And you can even enable audio. If you just go down to the audio icon in the taskbar, right click, choose sounds, select yes to enable the audio service, and you are good to go. Now the problem is Bastion won't be its best unless you know about these three other things, which you can learn about 
right over here. And happy learning.